Hey, welcome to another episode of $20 Chef. Welcome to the Jefferson venue. We're throwing bags right across the river, downtown Louisville. If you're in this area and you ain't here at the Jefferson party, there's a website right there. Check it out. A lot of great shows coming up, I'm telling you. And it's not really a proper barbecue unless you, you're cornhole pro homie hanging out, you know? Ringing you up four bags left and right. That's Dangerous Dan. Zach Mossgrove hanging out at the barbecue. This is, this is how we do it down here. Look at this. What are you not gonna do it? Today, we're gonna make some steak pinwheels, all right? Little Mexican twist on it though. But before I even get started, you gotta be a gentleman and make a cocktail, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and go with them all. another Mexican twist. Come with a little lime here. Boom, look at that. Obviously, have a little respect for yourself. A little 10 count, never hurt nobody. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, buddy. Gonna come in with a little squirt for that ass. And then just for fun, a little fruit punch jaritos. Because it makes always a good Mexican soda. Now this is where you want to pull out your two-foot chopsticks. Give her a little mixy mixer thing right there. Look at that little. Hey, let's get the griddling. A little olive oil onion, always, before you griddle. Get that workspace cleaned up, bro. Hot! Paya! That was hot as balls. All right, let that guy float around here, do his thing, clean up our griddle. So a lot of times, a traditional pinwheel, you're gonna throw spinach in there, uh, you know, a couple of different things people go with. But I'm gonna go with the Mexican pinwheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and start roasting these poblanos out the gate. That's gonna be the base in our pinwheel to go with our cheese. So we roll it up with that skirt steak before we cook it up. Okay, them jalapenos going, bro, always. Today, our, we have a lovely skirt steak here from our friends over at Kincaid's Meat Market. Obviously, if you go flank steak, you're gonna have more surface space to roll the pinwheel. That's why you wanna have a, a, a shit ton of muscles like myself. You, you wanna have that six inch fucking snap. A lot of you guys are in bar fights and you're coming with these whack ass haymakers. I see them coming well, a mile away and I only got one good eye. You come with a good snap and this is where you wanna practice. On skirt steak, bro. You see what I'm saying right there? That's a good hammer fist. You mess around, you wrestle, you bang into a couple of bathroom trash cans. Next thing you know, you're on top. You wanna come with that quickness, bro. Now remember, we do got poblanos out here frying up, so no poblano left behind, bro. A little flippity skips. You can start to smell, you know what I mean? This is where the neighborhood starts to wonder what the hell's happening. That's where neighbors start opening doors. Just kind of wandering around, like what the hell's going on out here? What's that smell? Do I live next door? to Mexico City. All right, let's keep, let's keep moving on this meat. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Obviously, we can't use this tip right here. But what do we have here? We have snack meat. That's called snack meat, bro. That right there, let's just season that guy up. I got some nice little GPS all-purpose seasoning here from iowabarbecuestore.com. Let's just get that going. Ooh, boom, kid. Snack meat. We're almost got our uh, poblanos fully roasted here, our jalapenos. Let's get this skirt steak seasoned. Remember, not too much because we're this is a thinner cut of steak. So you know, this, the salt's gonna go a lot farther. Snack's done. Let's check out, let's see how we taste in here. Give her a little cut ski, see what's up. Boom, look at that. Just something to snack on, guys. Mmm, I'm good as fuck. I'm good at this, bro. All right, so my move is this, bro. I don't know if this is really gonna take the flavor profile where I want it to go, but I feel like it does. So I found myself a little bit of this mole verde. We're gonna get it on this beef. Get a nice base before we put our poblano on there. You know, I've been seeing everybody make these pinwheels uh, left and right online, but it's kind of all doing the same thing, so I thought I'd switch it up here and go a little Mexican on them. That's just gonna look good, that looks nice. All right, let's get these poblanos pulled off here and start chopping those up. Let's get these pinwheels rocking, dude. There we go. Yeah, jalapeno. Pull them seeds out like that. There we go. Nice thin cut on one side so you can open it up. Now I'm gonna start just slicing it up here a little bit so I can lay it out on those pinwheels. I think, I honestly, bell peppers are out, dude. They're too expensive. They're, they're, they're the same old bullshit flavor they've been since 1906. Bell peppers are just a show. There's, they come with a ticket. Let's start laying it out on our pinwheel here. Poblano's hot, it's not, it's not jalapeno hot, but it is hot. Look at that, I just made this shit up, stoned out of my mind the other day. And that's where you really are, you're most creative. I got some grilled onion here too I'm gonna use. Look at that, keep going. Got some onion here. Next up is the cheese. Cheese it up. Boom. I probably should have done some sort of sliced cheese. It might stay together better, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. I've never tried this before, so see how it works out. You know what, just for fun, I'm gonna toss a little bit of this big ticket beef rub in there. IowaBarbecueStore.com right there. Just a little toss on the cheese, you know? A little cayenne can go here too, nice. My first pinwheel wheel up. Here we go. Look at that, bro. Boom. 
Double stick, double stick. First pinwheel ready to rock, dude. Here we go. Boom. Let's get it going. This skirt stick, it's incredible. Look at this monster. Look at that, it's like a softball. Poof. Being a badass gets tiring, bro. Luckily, I have this unbelievable view here to relax, have a cocktail, while I make Mexican pinwheels with my friend Zach over here rocking on the mic. Am I being all I can be? You ever ask yourself that? You're probably gonna come up short, but don't lie to yourself. Look at this. Let's finish these pinwheels. All right, let's get a flip going here. Look at that, there we go. Uh-huh, little top there. Let's get the little shitty one. All right. Then we gotta figure out how to cook the size of these sticks in them. Uh-oh. We're getting unpinwheeled here. Here we go. There we go. All right, we're all right. We're all right. Look at that. Boom. Holy shit. I'll see you in the finals. All right, here's our pinwheels. Let's see what we got here. Let's cut her open. Money shot. And boom, kid. The moment of truth. Oh, look at that. This is what we play for! You know what I mean? Get us some cucumber here. Chop up a little bit of this cilantro. Boom. Little lime. There it is, bro. A couple of Mexican pinwheels for that ass. I mean, that's just nice. A little bit of that cheese in there, a little bit of the pepper. I think we're on to something. Super seared off outside. Really hot, warm, 140 degrees. Medium, rare, perfect on the inside. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty badass, but I'm not really that badass, you know what I mean? It's all in my own head. But this right here looks nice. This gotta go for $38.99, not including sides. And this is how we get down around here, okay? Right across the water from downtown Louisville. Make sure you guys head over to thejeffersonvenue.com. See all their upcoming shows. I'm gonna be here September 10th, Cornhole Tournament, comedy show. It's gonna be the hot spot, all right? Whoever wants to lose money, come on down, I got your back. Till the next time, $20 Chef, see you guys later.